Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Find one vertex of an equilateral triangle whose centroid is origin and the equation of one side is x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. Find one vertex of an equilateral triangle whose centroid is origin 0 comma 0 and equation of one side BC is x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. So let us try to understand this problem. We have been given that centroid of this equilateral triangle is 0 comma 0. So I will write down centroid is 0 comma 0 and generally centroid we will use G. So I will write it as G there and we know that equation of BC is x plus y minus 2 equal to 0. We know equation of BC. We know that centroid is origin 0 comma 0. We have to find out one vertex either A or B or C. So, we will try to find out vertex A. Right. So, what is given is we have been given equation of side of one side and we also know centroid is nothing but origin 0 comma 0. Now, what is our approach to solve this problem? Equilateral triangle has lot of important properties. So, let us write down them one by one. We know that in equilateral triangle, we know that in equilateral triangle, median altitude perpendicular bisector all of them are same median altitude are given by same line we know that second thing so that is the first thing we know second thing we know that any triangle if you have a centroid centroid divides the medians median in the ratio 2 is to 1 centroid divides median median in 2 is to 1 we know that the third thing we know is product of from straight lines knowledge we know that product of product of slopes of two perpendicular lines is equal to minus 1 so these are the three properties which we will be using to solve this particular problem. To start with what I will say, I will say that coordinates of A1, A are x1, y1. This is what we have to find out at the end. Let us say that we do not know coordinates of D, we will take it as x2, y2. Now why we are doing that? Because we know that AD is median and also AD is altitude and also it is perpendicular bisector. So we are going to elevate our first condition by saying that BC is perpendicular to AD. That means slope of BC into slope of AD should be equal to minus 1. Now what is slope of BC that is x plus y e minus 2 equal to 0 that means it is nothing but minus of A by B is always slope of AX plus BY plus C. So minus of A by B is minus of 1 by 1 that is minus 1. So slope of BC is minus 1 into slope of AD which is nothing but Y2 minus Y1 divided by x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 equal to minus 1 or can I say from that y2 minus y1 is equal to x2 minus x1 this is our equation number 1 so we got one relation that y2 minus y1 equal to x2 minus x1 now second thing what we know one more thing we know that b bc equation is x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 
and the x2 comma y2 is a point on bc because d is a point on bc substituting that we get another condition let's write down that condition that condition is x2 x2 plus y2 minus 2 equal to 0 this is our equation number 2 condition number 2 how we know that we know that because bc bc is a straight line and d is a point on that so d should satisfy equation of bc that is x2 plus y2 minus 2 equal to 0 this is equation number 2 now next two equations we can get by taking that centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 so let's write down that centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 now next conditions we obtain by taking the median and we know that centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 we can use section formula the section formula gives us that formula is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 where x1 y1 x2 y2 we know this is m1 this is our m1 and this is our m2 that's m1 is to m2 what we have we have m1 is to m2 2 is to 1 x1 y1 dividing in the ratio 2 is to 1 so let's substitute the formula and see what will happen we know these values are nothing but equal to 0 and 0 so let's take m1 x2 m1 is 2 into x2 that is 2 x2 plus m2 equal to 1 1 into x1 2 x2 plus x1 by 3 comma similarly can i write down 2 y2 plus y1 by 3 but we know these are equal to 0 so can i go ahead and write down now that 2 x2 plus x1 is equal to 0 comma 2 y2 plus y1 is equal to 0 now we have four variables and we have four equations we should be able to find out the values of x1 comma y1 let's finish it in the next step now we have four equations so let's try to simplify this and get the values of x1 y1 x2 y2 for that what we will do we will take We will take this equation as our equation and try to solve this. So we will write down. Our idea is to convert everything into one variable so that we can solve it. So I want to convert everything in terms of x2. So we will write down y2 minus of y1 minus of y1 is nothing but minus 2y2. That is equal to x2 as it is minus of x1 that is minus 2x2 that's nothing but 3y2 is equal to 3x2 that's nothing but y2 equal to 3y2 equal to 3x2 can i cancel 3 and 3 and we know y2 is nothing but 2 minus x2 so 2 minus x2 equal to x2 that means 2x2 equal to 2 that means x2 is equal to 1 so we know x2 is equal to 1 we'll write down here we know x2 equal to 1 so let's go ahead and find out the remaining one we know x2 equal to 1 that means x1 is equal to minus of 2 into x2 that's equal to minus 2 into 1 that's equal to minus 2 that's equal to minus 2 into 1 that's equal to minus 2 so x1 is minus 2 so we found the x coordinate now we want y1 
what is y1 y1 equal to minus 2 into y2 but that's nothing but minus 2 into 2 minus x2 so can i go back and substitute 2 minus x2 x2 is 1 we know that's nothing but minus 2 so we get y1 is also equal to minus 2 so the vertex of equilateral triangle whose centroid is origin and the equation of one side is x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 is minus 2 comma minus 2 now how to solve this problem what was our approach let's summarize this now we have been given that one equation one equation of one side of equilateral triangle we have been told that centroid of this triangle is nothing but origin 0 comma 0 now we know in equilateral triangle the median and the altitude both are same so i can leverage two condition one product of their slopes is negative one minus of one and the another thing is centroid divides the median in the ratio to each to one so we get around four equations we also have another condition coming from x2 comma y2 satisfies because d is a point on bc so we have four equations four variables to solve we can get the values of x1 comma y1 so that's one interesting example which i thought of sharing with you please do let me know your feedback thanks for your time and support bye for now